Welcome to MacMod Live. If you love hacking your Mac, I have a right to, to hack at it. Whether you like to trick out your hardware, you like case mods, you like overclocking, all that kind of stuff, this is the site for you, MacMod.com. Hey folks, this is Big O, and welcome back to Mac Mod Live. Today I'm going to show you a software mod, and I hope this will be the first in a number of these kind of videos that will show you how you can add a little bit of personal flair to your Macintosh experience. So for more mods like this, both software and hardware variety, make sure to go to our website at macmod.com. All right, so today we're talking about uh, Microsoft Word 2008. And uh, Office 2008 for the Mac, I'm a big fan of it. I've been using it for about a year now, and uh, I use Office 2008 at work, and I'm, I mean 2007 at work, and honestly, I like the Mac version uh, better. I like the interface better. We'll give it a launch here. Um, I love the, the way that the new layout is on, on the Mac version. I think it's better than the, the new PC one, and I particularly like this floating palette that lets you customize things, and you can, you can hide and kind of get out of your way. Um, but everything is better when you can add a little personal touch. So we're going to see what we can do to make Word uh, meet our needs a little bit better. So the first thing we're going to pay attention to is the splash screen. So if I load this again, take a look at the splash screen that comes up. It's kind of kind of boring, if you ask me. It goes by pretty quickly, but it's, it's blue, kind of fancy, and it's, you know, all right, but I think we can do better. So I'm going to show you a little trick that's kind of one of the first things you want to know uh, if, if you want to do software mods. So we're going to bring this up in the Finder, <clears throat> and any application in, in OS X that you can double-click on to open, you can pull up a content uh, context menu and you'll see Show Package Contents. And this gets you into... Uh, uh, a deeper drill, you know, drill down deeper that, and find things that, uh, all kinds of goodies that you can play with. This is going to vary by application, so, you know, your mileage may vary, but in the case of Word, there's a lot of fun things that you can do. So you can see the top folder is called Contents, and we want to go to Resources, and then to the folder that matches the language that you're using. And in here, there's a whole lot of, uh, images you see all these ping files and just by trial and error uh, and opening a whole lot of these I, f I figured out that this one here splash.ping is the one that uh, uh, we're interested in if you open it up you can see this is the image they're using for the splash screen word mac 2008 so i've got a new version of this that i have uh, already edited and i'm going to replace it and uh, you should take note that when you're doing this kind of modifications, any change that you make could potentially trash your application. It might not launch or it might crash or something. So always make a backup before you make any changes. So I'm going to take this file and uh, just make a copy of it. So we have splash and splash 2. And I've already tested that. Having another file in there that doesn't belong doesn't affect the application at all. Um, all right, so here on the desktop, I have splash.ping, and uh, I'm going to copy that over, replace it, and uh, we'll launch Word again. It's already open, but we'll close that and then launch it, and you'll see a much different version. <laughs> this has got my face on it. Um, so let me just, for your benefit, I'll uh, open that up. Where to go? Oh, it's in here somewhere. Oh wow! Forget about it. Um, yeah. So it now says, "Oh, here it is, right up at the top." We'll open this up in uh, preview so you can take a better look. It's got my lovely face on it, and it says Word Mac Mod 2009. <laughs> and of course, you can replace this to to be whatever image you'd like. 
Um, and one other thing that I want to show you, there's all these files in here that end in dot strings, right? And there's some really interesting information in some of these. We'll start with this one, info.plist.strings. And uh, text edit isn't going to recognize this out of the box, so you'll need to open it with something else. My favorite one for this kind of thing is text wrangler. And so we'll open that up. And you see the format here. It says Word 97 2004 document and then equals and it's got this text. So it turns out what this stuff is, this is definitions for text that Word is going to use in various places in the UI. And if you edit some of this, you can you can come up with uh, some some interesting results. So I've got a few of these string files open and uh, you can there's one here and again I found this by trial and error some of sometimes it's obfuscated enough that it's hard to tell what it's gonna do or it doesn't do what you think it's gonna do but there's this one here 2a equals and I've already edited this and added the phrase yo doofus so <laughs> we'll show you this in action if you go into uh, Word here, we've got a document open. I'm going to hit Command P to try to print it. And this will bring up this little window here. We'll change the setup and we're going to get into the uh, margins. We'll set the margins to an illegal value and this will throw up an error message. And okay, click OK. And here's the error. Yo, doofus! One of the more of the margins are set outside the printable area. Uh, so I've just changed that error message that it shows up. Now, also, you'll see if you go up into Word, normally it would say something like about Microsoft Word, but it says don't click here. That's, a, that's another mod that I did by editing these string files. And if you open this up, you can see the it's now copyright 2000, 2001, 2002 Free Software Foundation. <laughs> <laughs> so there you have it. Um, that is how you can take Microsoft Word 2008 and uh, make it fit your needs a little bit better. And uh, hopefully you can take take that start and uh, and you know take it to a whole new height. So if you try this out and you like it. Um, Add a, add a comment to, to this article on our website at macmod.com or macmodlive.com and uh, let me see a screenshot of, uh, of your modification. The same process works for any app within Office 2008 and a lot, of, a lot of other applications that you can use too. So be sure to check out our podcast at MacMod Live and join the community over at macmod.com and get connected with other Mac users. And until next time, we'll see you.